If I had to pick one guilty pleasure of mine that I'm the least proud of, it'd have to be my unfounded love for buffalo hot wings from 7-Eleven. I get that they're not as good as wings from an actual wing spot, but for the price and availability, I don't think anyone can really judge me for my little obsession. At least, not until a hot summer day where I'm with a good friend of mine and we're both hungry. But not the hungry you go and actually get real food for, just something bigger than a snack but less than an entire meal. Honestly, these little corner store runs had to have accounted for at least about 80% of my food consumption at the time. Anyway, without hesitation, I suggest 7-Eleven, to which my friend gives me a halfway disapproving glance. But then she puts her car in gear and starts driving to the nearest 7-Eleven around the corner. We get to 7-Eleven, and true to my routine, I grab a Slurpee and start gulping it down in the store before buying, and then I head over to the counter to ask for my usual 3 for 5 order of wings. The lady at the counter already knew what was up with me, so she started walking to grab them before I could even finish my order. While waiting for my order though, I look over to see that my friend only got some chips and a bottle of juice. I ask what was wrong. You're not hungry at all, huh? Nah, that's not it. All this shit here is just made out of babies. Then she took a sip of her juice and the cashier came back. I broke out of my befuddled state and paid for my food, then walked out. In the car, I asked her, What did you mean when you said all that stuff about all the food being made out of babies? She wiped some chip residue off her fingers and mouth and grabs her phone to send me this sketchy mini documentary meme situation. And I don't usually subscribe to conspiracy theories, but this one got a little deep and had a lot of evidence. I thought it was odd that I was being informed from a social media post, but you still have to trust the internet sometimes, you know? Basically, it said that all the food in America, whether it be ketchup or tea or chocolate or bread or poultry, is made from babies. Babies. And they kept naming off all these organizations that made food that I had eaten or products that I'd bought and all I could think or see or smell was babies. Babies, babies, babies. Scenes from the documentary tormented me. I could only see toddlers whenever anybody put a plate in front of me. I lost at least five pounds. Long story short, I didn't eat or drink anything for three weeks after that and I don't eat 7-Eleven buffalo hot wings anymore. I don't know how